The outlook for payments fraud is both promising but contains some uncertainties. Uh, there's been a number of uh, real-time payment initiatives uh, that have come out in the last 12 months and are continuing on. For example, same-day ACH, uh, real-time payments. And with these, there's an opportunity to create uh, new services and uh, be able to attract uh, high profit, high net worth individuals and commercial accounts. But at the same time, we've also seen that uh, fraudsters capitalize on some of these uh, instances in order to defraud the bank's customers. So the challenge is for banks to be able to be uh, nimble, agile in order to stay competitive, but to provide sufficient time to examine high-risk transactions uh, before approving them and, and sending the payments for settlement. Banks can address filling fraud detection gaps by doing a complete assessment of all the methods and channels in which their customers interact with the bank, uh, whether they be online um, mobile, uh, online banking, uh, walking into a branch, calling the call center. Uh, so all of those are covered by different vendors and may have different vulnerabilities. So they need to assess and understand where the gaps are. And also in their back-end systems, how they interface to the payment networks. Uh, they need to uh, have a keen understanding of their vendor ecosystem and how all these solutions work together. In addition, their fraud detection systems need to use behavioral analytics in order to detect when their users are not behaving in normal patterns. They need to be able to detect that early on and they need to be able to mitigate the risk. In addition, they should also have uh, the ability to execute rules. This will ensure that the bank's policies are being met and also that the bank is staying current with regulatory compliance. If banks have uh, legacy systems that may be in the process of becoming obsolete or in the later phases of their lifetime, uh, banks can mitigate this in a number of different ways. First of all, they can simplify their messaging infrastructure to ensure that these systems can communicate well between themselves and also with the fraud prevention system. The fraud prevention system uh, should be future-proof. This means uh, having the ability to have open APIs, easy way of interfacing uh, with each other. And they need to make sure that they do knowledge transfer so that they retain the knowledge on how to maintain these systems. So as their employees that are in charge of maintaining these systems, uh, perhaps exit the organization through normal attrition, that they retain that knowledge. And they also, of course, need to put in place a plan for migration on when they're going to exit these systems. They need to have a plan for continuous innovation. So that way, they'll make sure that their infrastructure is up to date and they're able to meet uh, their business goals. Board should be asking about all of the cost elements and the true cost of fraud. So it's typically not just direct losses. Uh, there's other components to the, to the fraud cost. There's the, the cost of uh, customer churn, which will inevitably happen whenever uh, there is fraud. Uh, they need to know how much it will cost to replace those customers and the lifetime value that they would have realized uh, by retaining those customers in the first place. So uh, having a keen understanding of the total cost of fraud will help guide and inform their decisions about balancing how much to spend on fraud versus not spending or you know uh, delaying those decisions. Um, then they need to ask themselves, what is the cost of not doing something? Is that really an option? Um, how are we going to grow our business by expanding into new markets, providing new services and products? And then what does that do to my risk exposure? And then finally, I would say, embrace the investment in fraud prevention and use it as a competitive tool to attract other customers, uh, to make them stronger in the marketplace, be able to return their, retain their existing customer base.